Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about Tay Stays High. Let's take a couple um looks at Tay Stay High channel. One moment. See, we'll talk about this Tay Stays High. <laughs> Great guy. The holy and Great guy. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. He's blowing up. I wonder why. Let's take a quick look. Let's see what we what we got for the young man. Let's see what we got for him. Do 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 do. Taste these high. Stay stays high. There he is. Look at him. You see him? Ooh, taste stays high. Wait a minute. She's addicted to daddy chocolate. Uh, <laughs> Netflix and chill. Hidden camera prank. 58,000 views. Ooh, look at this. She made me bust in the Hellcat. 583,000 views. Let's check this video out. Do you think she makes some busts? Do you think she makes some busts in the video? Oh, look at this. <laughs> no. You know why, guys? Why this is always a trick? Let's see the video. I'm gonna look at this in a minute. <laughs> nah, I like that. What do you mean? Did I hurt your feelings? I'm sorry. You're not an airhead. <laughs> Tay! <laughs> Staying high. I have a little bit of ice up in my mouth. They're right there too. So the young man wants to put his girlfriend out there now. Did his videos always look like this? Nope. Let's take a look back. Hmm. He used to just put up random videos. Nice little hairdo, but he said, you know what? I'm going to get my little girlfriend in here. Oh, let's see. Izzy got way too freaky during the hot box. He thought he'd give it a shot. Let's see how it goes. 124,000 views. She did this during the hot box. Doesn't even explain what it is. Then we go from there to there to, oh, let's put her butt cheeks. No way. 866 thousand views hmm. Hmm. oh booty in the pick 121 booty in the pick oh, i fought her ex and it just keeps going up oh, booty in the pick he has to play around with this <clears throat> now <laughs> 
Now, am I mad at this? <laughs> am I mad at this? I don't know. I'm just, every time I see one of these videos over here, it's just like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's true. Sorry, that was kind of loud in your ears. But it's true. Absolutely true. And so this is what we see, man. Here, who do you think that this is reaching out to? Do you think this is uh these videos are reaching out to young men? Young women? Older men? Mid men? Mid women? Mid men? Mid women? Older women? Ha. <laughs> I think this appeals to a certain group. Mm, I think this appeals to teenagers. The teenagers, man. This is why I had this conversation a while back. If you guys were here for that live stream, we had talked about how it seems that they go after our young men, but nobody seems to care. And then I got in a, uh, a disagreement with somebody in my chat, you know, because every time you talk about teenage boys or you talk about men falling for this kind of stuff, I, I get the same kind of responses. It's just like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they do. It's just, you won't die. It's just constant, constant, constant. I hear that so much when it comes to an addiction. They're pretty much, he's pretty much showing the world the the addiction that young men have by showing all of these booty pics, all of these booty videos, all these booty pics in his thumbnails. He's trying to appeal to the young audience because the young, only the young audience is going to want to see him busting a Hellcat. Only a young audience is going to want to see, oh, how she did it. Uh, this thing says, look at this, Netflix and chill, hidden camera prank. First of all, even if he's just doing a little bitty prank, you know, a simple little prank, what do you think about when you think when you see that thumbnail with that video, right? What can I get into it? Look, nothing crazy. And I'm not here to say, that's I don't know, Tay. Look at this. It's crazy how the world works, does it not? Get that off my screen. Get that off my screen. You're pretty much putting your girlfriend out there because it's cool. Or your fiance. I don't know what she is. But you're pretty much putting her out there just to get yourself some views. It's crazy. And you know what? I want to commend somebody. I had noticed this the other day. Y'all remember when we were live streaming and I went to take, I went to his live stream. That was probably three or four days ago. You can, y'all can go check that out on YouTube. But I went to his live stream and I said, let me see what he's about. Because I had seen these thumbnails before. I knew Tay Stay High. I've known he's been on YouTube for a little bit. I've seen his videos back in the day. He's got 467 videos. So I had seen him back in the day. He did a lot of those blinker challenges. And uh, I was never a big fan of blinker challenges, so I didn't watch them. So I'm like, okay, cool. Not nothing crazy. But then I saw these thumbnails start showing up. So I went to one of his live streams, and I'm like, dude, like, and this is no offense towards this young man. He's young. I'm sure he's really young. And the, based off what I'm seeing, he's a young man. Because older men don't tend to do those kind of thumbnails and, you know, prostitute their girlfriend out yes i said it i said he prostitutes his girlfriend out because the only reason you would ever put your girlfriend in a thumbnail like that with her booty cheeks hanging out to make money what else would you call that 
oh, you know, she's not doing anything with anybody. You are using her body to make money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not right. I hope she can look back on this and see that it's wrong. I hope this young man can look back on it and see that it's wrong. But anyway, so I'm watching this young man live stream and I thought to myself, you know what? Mm, I don't see, I don't see the appeal. This is the same thing I said about the other YouTuber. I ain't going to mention his name, but y'all know who he is. I said that, you know, I love his videos. I love his editing. But sometimes this promotion of let's get high as possible should be looked upon as the same thing as let's get drunk as possible. The same reason we look at people who drink alcohol and we see how much they drink and go, might be an alcoholic. If we see the same thing with stoners, we might have to ask ourselves some questions and be like, maybe, just maybe, it's an addiction. Why can't it just be an addiction? That's the problem. Everybody says, oh, you cannot be addicted to cannabis. Yes, you can. Trust me. I met plenty of people who said they were. I met tons of people who said they were. Over hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people, right, who tell you that it's an addiction. There's a whole group dedicated to people with marijuana addiction and people telling their stories. I've heard people cry. People get depressed. People want to take their lives off of getting off of marijuana. You know why? Because with the stoner community, hey, shout out, stoner community, hello, how are you today? Listen, the stoner community can be misleading. Not everybody in the stoner community is like this, because there's people in the stoner community who never talk about getting high. There's people in the stoner community who talk about growing plants, plant etiquette, cannabis etiquette, how to use certain tools, how to smoke, how to, they do some great things for the stoner community. But then there's the others, and the, the others that drive it down into the mud. They'll say, oh, it's okay to get high in the morning, high, <laughs> high in the morning, high on your first break at work, high on your second break at work, get high at lunch, get high on your third break at lunch, then go home, get high, eat, get high, right before you go to bed, get high. And when you wake up, get high. It's like, hmm, where am I now? If somebody said, you know what you need to do, the guys? First thing in the morning, take a shot, okay? Take three shots in the morning when you get to work. Take three shots when you <laughs> take three shots when you go on break. Then take three shots before you go to lunch. Take three shots after lunch. Take three shots before you go on your second break. Three shots before you go on your third break. And right after you get up to work, take some shots. Take shots right before dinner, after dinner. And before you go to bed, go ahead and take some more shots. You would think, man, this person is a clear alcoholic. And so when I watch this other young man and I see him promoting, let's take a billion dabs. Let's put, let's, let's, let's smoke as many joints as we can. <laughs> it's crazy. And it's so bad that people who come to my channel, people who come to my content, they always think I'm getting high because I also smoke, but I smoke, you know, I smoke hemp, you know, I smoke hemp and I am an advocate. I always talk against getting high all the time. I tell people if they're doing it for a medical reasoning, listen, cool, do whatever you want. In fact, if you want to just get high, do whatever you want. All I do is tell people the repercussions. If you're going to, if you're going to smoke all the time, any chance you get, be careful. Your brain is going to get used to that. Okay. Your brain is going to get used to that. And some people, they talk about the trying to, oh, it helps me with my anxiety and all that stuff. And I understand that. But here's the thing, and here's the thing I also want to warn against while we're here, and then we'll get back to Mr. Tay here. When you smoke all the time to avoid anxiety, it is inevitable your anxiety is going to continue to rise, because this is what's happening. It's, this, is not, this is what people think is happening, okay? And I'm talking to, I'm talking to people who get high all the time, okay? Here you, here's your anxiety, here's you getting high, right, all the time, okay? What people think happening is that they, get, they have anxiety, they get high, blah, 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 it just swallows the anxiety up. Nope. The more you get high, this is what happens. That anxiety goes, starts rising. And one day you're going to think you're going to keep getting high. And all the high does is make you not care about it. That's it. That You're high and you keep having to get higher and higher to keep that, keep that anxiety down. But nope, it's coming, boy. It's working out. It's doing push-ups. And then one day, Boom! It's gonna blow the top off. 
and then your anxiety is going to go to the roof. And that's why you hear some people who say, I can never smoke weed again. Do not try to smoke weed to avoid anxiety. You have to do it the natural way. And then if you want to get high to every now and then relieve the anxiety, cool. But don't let it be a cure-all because it won't be. Now back to Mr. Tay. Back to Tay. Back to booty in the thumbnail. Here's my last thing I want to say, Tay. And, uh, and the reason I brought all that up is because of how he kind of brings up smoking. Look, eating a 10,000 milligram edible. She loves daddy chocolate. She did this on camera. Yeah, we see all that. But I want to see those of you. Like, here we go. 50 carts versus me. I took blinkers off of every moonwalk cart ever. Right? 24 moonwalk disposables. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Can we get the girl out of the picture? for the Okay, hitting a blinker in Best Buy. It's just the whole concept of getting as high as possible. I just have an issue with that. So I don't tend to... I, this is why you don't tend to see me um, react to channels like this. Right? Now, <clears throat> now, if every now and then I see a video like that and they're like hitting a blinker, okay. But the people who are promoting that kind of stuff every single time, I can't promote that. And I can't not promote Tay-K because of the way he talks, to, he talks about his girlfriend. One last time. Look at this. We made a baby during the hot box. She made me a gift uh, during the mukbang. I told her to make me bust or leave. She's a glizzy globbler. Snow Bunny made me do this during the hot box. She loves, you know what? Now, my thing is, dude, you're so dehumanizing your girlfriend, dude. If this is your girlfriend, I don't know what she is. But you're dehumanizing her. I drilled her back out on camera. She threw it back on camera. I got head on camera. Not even anything. I got head on the during the hot box. She know I got the bag. Taking mushrooms on camera. It's just kind of like, dude. What the f is this? She didn't make it? Like, what kind of video is that? She didn't. Oh, my. Hey, Tay, you'll probably never know me. I'm a small YouTuber. I get one view a video. I'm a nobody. Um, but if you ever catch me over here on kick stream, uh, stop it, dude. This is me talking to you, okay? Man to man. Don't do your girlfriend like this, dude. Please don't do your girlfriend like this. I know this kind of stuff gets in your head, but no, when you start trying to make money like this, can I, can I, it's a killer, man. An absolute killer. <laughs> that love for money will destroy you, especially when you start pushing your girlfriend out there. What the, when these people see your girlfriend now, what do you think they think of her? They think of, this is a young, respectable young woman. They think, no, I want to see her butt cheeks. That's what I saw in the thumbnail. I want to see butt cheeks. I do not want to see how much you want to... <sighs> is that how you want women, people to think about your girlfriend? They want to see her as a smoke show. They just want to see her as butt cheeks like she's a porn star. You want to dehumanize your girlfriend for views? I don't care what she says. You're, you are... This is your channel, not hers. You can control this. And even if she's like, no, you're going to do it or, or else we need money, kick her to the curb. Either way, you cannot have a girlfriend and treat her like this. I don't care. You got young men watching you, Tay. This is your opportunity to make a real impact. You know, this skill that you have, it's not going to get you very far. You're, you're making money like that. You're making way more money. I don't know how much money you're making from YouTube because you, all your stuff is probably getting demonetized because you're using marijuana. But um, even if you're making a ton of money out, let's let's give you the most. Let's, let's just make up a number, guys. Let's say you're making five hundred thousand dollars a year off this channel. Let's just put you in the absolute extreme because that's what people like to do. You're making five hundred thousand dollars a year. I'm making two dollars a, a year. OK, let's say I'm making the absolute lowest. You're making the absolute most. It's still doesn't matter what you're doing with your girlfriend is not worth any amount of money you can make do not let this world confuse you this world will tell you tay that money is the end all be all it's the way to status it's the way to make you look cool but the only people you're going to look cool to in the end of the day is 
children. Only freaking young people care about that stuff. The young teenage boys, they don't know life. Only them are going to be, oh my God, he has this many subscribers. He's so cool. I'm sure he's making, no. Because people who are older aren't dumb. We understand ad revenue. We understand CPMs. We understand how hard it really is to make YouTube money and to have it always stay at the same pace. It's hard to do that on YouTube. And it only takes one slip up, one demonetization for your whole channel to get demonetized and the money stops. It only takes one lawsuit and the money stops. I just had a friend, not a friend of mine, but a guy I really respect on YouTube, made a ton of money on YouTube. He made one mistake. One guy decided to go after him. Now he's bloop, broke. Well, maybe not completely broke, but he had to go through a lot of his money. And he's a good man, great guy. But it just takes one slip. We saw that happen with another dude on YouTube. With making videos, just like that, whole channel got demonetized. We saw it happen to that other YouTuber who I think had 300,000 subs. What happened to him? One video messed up, they terminated his entire channel. And not just that channel, another channel that he had created. He lost two channels and YouTube did not give it back. This YouTube money will be gone like that, dude. I don't think you're making money on a marijuana channel. But my point is, if you are, just like that. And if you haven't developed... See, the thing that these other three people I just told you about, they all have skills. They can get right back on YouTube and monetize again and start over. You, you're going to have to start right back from the bottom making marijuana content. And how would you be able to do that again? <laughs> putting your girlfriend's booty in the freaking thumbnails you don't want to have to go back through that dude develop a skill to a, something that you can really monetize because they're gonna come a day where youtube may shut us down again us smoke channels and we'll be out of here like a like youtube if they don't care about you your, your channel will be gone you'll never get it back you've got to get past the pornography of it all man don't Excuse my language, but it's the only way I think I can explain it to y'all to understand. Do not slut your girlfriend out, man. Don't slut her out. I know NLE's Choppa and all these other dumb rappers be thinking this stuff. Okay, NLE is not a dumb rapper, but they be saying the most dumb things. Slut me out. <sighs> Lecrae said it best. Can I this life is a killer. Absolute killer. <sighs> Tay, I wish you the best, brother. And to Tay's girlfriend, I'm sorry, I don't know your name. And I'm not going to say your name just because he's putting your booty cheeks, he's putting your body out here like you're a prostitute. And I'm, I'm sorry for you. I don't care if you're agreeing to it. It's still sad either way. So I don't know your name, young lady, but please find another way to do this. I'm not advocating for y'all to break up or something, but I'm advocating for y'all to choose a different route. Go the right way. Maybe one day get married and all this will be in the past. That's my hope. Tay, good luck, brother. <laughs>